Fox News alert now on Operation Fast and Furious as an important deadline comes and gets ignored by the administration. Accusations flying that the Obama administration is stonewalling Republicans who are looking into a possible link between those running the ATF office involved in the botched gun running sting and the White House. Lawmakers asking why this ATF field agent, his last name is Newell, William Newell, why this guy went around his chain of command to communicate directly with the White House national security official about Fast and Furious. The top two Republicans heading the congressional probe into Operation Fast and Furious sent a letter to the White House counsel saying we want to interview this former White House national security staffer, a guy named Kevin O'Reilly. Part of the letter reads, quote, look, during the committee's July 26, 2011 hearing on Fast and Furious, Newell, that's the ATF guy, was unable to explain why these emails were inappropriate or why he had direct contact with O'Reilly about an ongoing criminal investigation. The Republicans asked for a response by April 4th. April 4th came and went. Bubkiss. Joining me now, Republican Congressman Jason Chaffetz, who sits on the Oversight Committee in the House, uh, and he has been looking into, the committee has, Operation Fast and Furious. Uh, sir, thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. So you get these emails from this guy in the ATF office, which was responsible for Fast and Furious, up to a national security guy in the administration. I mean, it's, that's pretty low level, talking to pretty high level, about Fast and Furious. So our viewers know the emails read, quote, you didn't get this from me. I just don't want ATF headquarters to find out, especially since this is what they should be doing, briefing you. But, Congressman, what the heck was he talking about? What was this ATF guy talking about with this national security rep? Well, what makes us so furious about this fast and furious operation is that we've turned from fast and furious to slow and stonewalling. We have issued 22 sets of, of subpoenas. 13 of those categories of subpoenas, the White House has provided zero documents. And the only reason we even know that this happened is because a brave whistleblower stepped up and gave us these documents. We went back to the council and said, how dare you? How come you did not provide these documents to the committee when we issued a subpoena? And they unilaterally decided that they weren't important, that they didn't need to give them to us, which is totally unacceptable, Megan. Wait a minute. So, so, so we so, have so our them, they finally so did So you produce issue them. all these subpoenas to the Department of Justice mm -hmm. and, and to the government saying, turn over all, everything you have yeah. relating to Operation Fast and Furious. This yeah. document from this guy who was in uh, ATF in Phoenix, that's the operation, that's the group that was running Fast yeah. and Furious, who was writing to a national security uh, official, this email was not included yeah. in what you got. Not a, no, no, we didn't. We never got that. Then we went back, our investigators went back and said, you know, a whistleblower actually gave us these documents. How come you didn't give them to us? Then they finally did produce them to us. And th Megan, this is not an isolated case. We know from the inspector general within the Department of Justice, their, their own inspector, that there are some 80,000 documents pertaining to Fast and Furious. They've given us less than 8,000 of those documents, less than 10%. That is totally unacceptable. You cannot just ignore subpoenas and that's why we're on a collision course where we're going to have to you know at some point come to the decision to say are we going to hold the department of justice the eric holder uh in contempt and go through contempt proceedings because you cannot just ignore subpoenas in this country that's not who we are as a people all right so you wanted to get to b the bottom of, of whether this guy william mm -hmm. newell the atf guy in phoenix mm -hmm. what was he talking to this national security guy kevin o'reilly about did it have to do with Fast and Furious? Why was there an end around? How much did, did the national security officials know, if anything, about Fast and Furious? And I guess you called Newell to testify, and he testified about his emails and said, I don't remember what that exchange was about. So then you said, all right, he claims he doesn't remember. Let's talk to the guy on the other end of the emails, and that's Kevin O'Reilly, the now former national security staffer. And I understand that Mr. O'Reilly, through his attorney, has said, I'm happy to talk to you. So why hasn't he? Well, his personal attorney has indicated to our committee that uh, he is uh, more than willing to talk to the committee on the record under oath. It is only the White House and the White House counsel that is saying they will not make him available. Now, he's currently serving in Iraq, and, and we appreciate his service to the country. He's willing to talk. We have an ongoing investigation. We have subpoenas, and it's only the White House that's holding him back from testifying. Look, if it's an innocent enough uh, explanation, if there's nothing to it, then why do you have the ATF agent in, in Phoenix saying, well, I don't really remember that. And then the, then you have the person in a, uh, who's, you know, at the White House or at the Department of, uh, you know, in the White House 
not able to provide information. The White House doesn't want us to talk to them. It just smells so bad. It doesn't pass the basic test to say, what else are they covering up here? Has and there, why but, won't they continue to give us the documents? Has there been an acknowledgement from DOJ that the e, this email from this guy to the national security official does have to do with Fast and Furious? Because if I'm the DOJ and I don't give you this oh, yeah. letter or this email, and then you get it from a whistleblower, and you come to me and say, why wasn't this produced? If my position is because this email has nothing to do with Operation Fast and Furious, then I would say to you, because the email has nothing to do with Fast and Furious about something else. Did they say that to you? No, well, there are three different sets of, of emails here. And Megan, it's crystal clear this has to do with Fast and Furious and the operation. There is no other way to read through those documents and come to the conclusion that it had nothing to do. The White House is absolutely not complying with a, a subpoena. They're playing games. They're stonewalling us. I fear that they're trying to slow walk us all the way through the election. There is smoke here, and we deserve to make sure that this never, ever happens again. we got a dead agent, a dead U.S. agent who's out there, and I can't look the Brian Terry family in the face unless we fully pursue this to the very end. And the White House cannot stand in the way of this. Congressman Jason Chaffetz, thank you, sir. Thank you.